All right, so today we're going to talk about how to set up a day and night dimming timer for our bearded dragon. So we've got little man in here and we're going to talk about how we get the heat lamp and the UVB to turn on in the daytime and be the desired heat that we want and then also how to set it up so those things can turn off. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get your day and night dimming timer and you're going to want to plug this in because we need it to be powered so that we can edit our settings. You're going to plug your heat lamp into the temperature socket and your UVB light is going to be plugged into the timer socket. Once you've got it all plugged in, if you press any of these buttons, it's gonna come up with this screen that says lock. So we need to unlock the device first to make changes to it. To do that, we need to hold down the set key and the down arrow until that lock screen goes away. Okay, now we're gonna be able to make changes. To edit the settings on this, we hold down set and it's first gonna come up with the temperature settings like that. And if we keep holding it down, it's gonna take us to the timer settings just like that. So the first thing that we'll edit is our temperature settings. So let's hold down set again. And the first one that we've got is our daytime setting. So it's got the little sun and it says day. We're gonna use the up and down arrows to edit how many degrees we want it to be when it's daytime in here. So I've got mine set to 40 degrees. And what that means is this little probe here, wherever you put that, it's going to be measuring the temperature. If it's lower than 40 degrees, it's going to tell the heat lamp to ramp it up a bit. And if it's too high, it's going to dim the heat lamp down. And it's going to try and maintain a stable temperature of 40 degrees. All right. Now, the next one, I don't know if you just saw, but I press set again. If we press set, it's going to take us to our nighttime temperature. And so I've got mine set to 18 degrees because it never gets below here, um, below 18 degrees in the night time. So that means that my heat lamp is never coming on in the night. But if you lived somewhere that was quite cold, you could turn this down um, as low as you want to ensure that it's not going to be coming on in the night time. So once you're happy with that, press set again. Then we get this little thing come up that says alarm. So what this means is that for mine, if my temperature in the daytime or the nighttime goes above 10 degrees or below 10 degrees, the designated temperature, it's going to start beeping at me um, to warn me and let me know. So you can either set this to um, whatever you want if you do want the alarm to go off. Um, I just set mine really high um, because I don't want it to go off. But there is also a way that you can turn the alarm off altogether. And I'll show you how to do that now. So if you make a mistake, just keep pressing set and it will go around um, again and you can edit all of these things as needed. But once you're happy with your daytime temperature and your nighttime temperature and your alarm, you're just going to press OK and it'll take you back to the home screen. Now, if you want to turn your alarm off, just hold down the up button and the down button like that for about three seconds. All right, so mine's just turned back on because it was already off. So I'll hold down the three seconds again. And it says off, so my alarm is now disabled. It's not gonna go off. Now, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is our timer for um, to specify when day and night is, and then also when we actually want our UVB light to be coming on and off. So to do that, we're gonna hold down set again. And this time, keep holding it. So keep holding it past temperature until we get to our time. All right, there we go. So again, to change our time, whichever one's flashing will be the one that moves up and down. And then when you're happy with the hour, press set, the minute, change that as needed, and then the seconds. And press set again when that's all done. Now we've got daytime. So this is when our daytime temperature will be activated. So I've got 6 a.m. for mine and I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna press set and set again. Then we've got nighttime, so at 8.30, my temperature stops from trying to measure to be 40 degrees and goes down to 18 degrees to activate the heat lamp. 
So I've got that for 8.30 set. Now the next one we've got is our actual timer for our UVB. So when our UVB will turn on and off. And I've got mine to turn on and off at the same time that the heat changes too. So 6 a.m. again for our UVB and then turning off at 8.30. So I'll press set and we're happy with that. Now we've got this other thing that's called timer number two. If you don't want to use multiple timers and things like that, you just keep the um, on and off time as the same. So you just press set, set, go through it, same thing again, same thing again, same thing. And you don't need that if you just want a basic um, on and off for daytime, nighttime. All right, and again, it's just gonna keep going around in circles so you can edit anything if you've made a mistake. But once you're happy with all of that, you're just gonna press okay again, and it's gonna take you to your home screen where it'll tell you what your current temperature is, where that little probe is measuring, and what the time is to, and letting you know that the timer is on. So your UVB light is on at the moment. And it's as simple as that.